Some cupboards aren't the best shape for storage. Installing a pull-out unit can transform your space into something useful. A swing-out bin can be really handy too. With the door open and the bin out of the way, you'll have easy access to the back of the cupboard, creating extra storage space. Now what we've got here is a tired, dirty old bin. I'm going to rip that out and show you how to install a new one. Okay, this is our new 20 litre bin. Pretty easy to install. Now one thing I will point out before I install this, you can actually install this on the left or the right hand side of your cupboard. The first thing I need to do is take my instructions because on the instructions is actually a template of where to drill our holes. Now just to make life easy for me, I'm just going to clip off our cabinetry door. This is really simple. The little button at the back here, let's just push that in and the door just pops off. Okay, so all I'm going to do is fix this template to the side of our unit. Now we've got a big arrow here, we have to make sure that is hard to the front of the carcass of the unit and also just make sure that the arrow is hard down onto the bottom of the unit. So I'm just going to make sure that our template is sitting hard on the bottom and nice and flush on the front and all I'm going to do is use a little vivid to mark the hole where we're going to insert our screws. Okay, so let's just clip our door back on, nice and easy. The next thing we have to do is mark out the position on our door for where our bracket is going to fit. To do that I'm using this bracket and on the bracket here are these two little V marks in here. I'm using these marks as a guide to drill the screws which will hold our door bracket onto the door. Here's how we position it. Right to do this I'm just going to take this little plastic lug that goes into our bracket. Now this plastic lug is going to button hard against the edge of our cabinetry and the base plate here is actually going to sit on top of the cabinetry. Okay, now it's really important that we make sure that this bracket is actually nice and level. So to do that, I've just got a nice little baby level here. And that's looking pretty good there. Now that that's level, all I'm going to do is mark the centre of the V. This is where I'll be screwing the door bracket onto the door. Okay, now we just need to attach our bracket to where we just marked our holes. Before I do that, I'm just going to pre-drill a hole for those screws to go into. Now a little tip when you are drilling into the door, just make sure you just take it easy, you don't want to drill all the way through the door. Great, now that's our bracket for the bottom of the bin. Next thing I'm going to do is attach our bracket onto the unit. Now on the mark that we've already positioned there from our template, I'm just going to pre-drill a hole on that mark. Okay, I'm only going to attach one screw at this stage and then once again I'm just going to make sure that bracket is 90 degrees or level. Okay, so that's nice and level. Let's just put a little mark there once again. Take our level away, pre-drill a hole, and then insert the screw. Okay, now repeat the process for the bottom bracket. This is our last bracket that we have to install. It actually holds the bin in place down the bottom. Now all our hard work is just about done. All I have to do now is attach the bottom of my bin to our door bracket. Now that's just going to sleeve over that first and then we're going to just clip in our top and bottom brackets. All we do is slide that into position, top and bottom. 
take our plastic pin and just insert that in there. And the same down the bottom. Now our last job is attaching our lid to our bracket that's on the inside of our unit. Now you see this little slot that's at the back of the lid? That is just gonna sleeve over our bracket that's in position. And just push that in position till that just clicks in nice and tight. Job done.